Oh, very, uh, very traditional. A little perch about that big on a little perch bob afloat uh, with a worm suspended, suspended awfully about two foot below the surface. Not an idyllic place. It was a gravel pit that was being backfilled with hardcore in Felton, very near Felton Borstal. Well, I've just landed a 21 pound carp, so that's pretty memorable. In fact, I'm covered in fish slime. Um, I did think it was a double figure bream, which is really what I'm here for. I haven't quite made it yet. I've had a 9.14, so I'm hoping the bream will show a little bit later on this morning. Oh, trotting a float down a river, no doubt, no doubt about it. I, I, was, I was brought up river fishing, that's how I learnt my craft, uh, and I still absolutely adore it. My favourite place to fish, Ooh. I suppose wherever I'm fishing, uh, but uh, I no longer can it sadly, it's, uh, it's a river that's declined in form. Really enjoying fishing in Hampshire Haven again at the moment, I, I fished it on and off for probably 30 odd years, uh, chub fishing there in the winter can be absolutely superb. The Wye of course is a, a, a cracking river, uh, but uh, I like the Hampshire chalk streams as well, so um, I'm easily pleased. I'm good at breaking rods, so probably not done that many. Um, the Drenal Acolyte is uh, uh, a good rod for breaking, and I've smashed the, the tip of two of those, uh, one in quite memorable circumstances while attached to a, a six pound chub. Um, I remember uh, dropping a top section of my pole into the uh, River Suck uh, in Ireland many years ago, and my girlfriend had to stop me diving in after it. My pet hate in life, uh, not just in angling, is litter. Uh, it, it weighs a lot less to take it home than it does to bring it, uh, and I absolutely detest it uh, when I see rubbish, particularly angling rubbish, by the, by, the, by the waterside. I mean, we are the eyes and ears of the waterside environment, and we need to walk the talk. I remember fishing with uh, Dave Howes, a great uh, Hampshire Aden angler, and uh, it just got dark, and I hooked a barbel. Um, and started playing it and for some reason I felt the need to kneel down as the fish got closer to the to the bank. What I didn't realise was uh, I knelt straight into the river uh, and went under immediately and Dave said the only thing visible was my bobble hat uh, bouncing up and down on, on the river and me holding the rod above, uh, above the water. So I, I did cling on, so uh, not that embarrassing. Oh, it would have to be a roach. Uh, it would have to be uh, a four and a half pound roach caught from a river, preferably on a float. I, I, I won't bolt rig for them, which is crazy because I'm bolt rigging now and uh, I, I bolt rig for tench. But for me, uh, if, if, if I'm a, a traditionalist in, in, in one species only, it's, uh, it's river roach. I'm not quite cracked a three pound, I've come close. Uh, so I'd like a three pounder and I'd like a record roach, but uh, I'm not going to sweat over it. Um, my favourite fish in the world is any roach I have to net. put something back uh, you know we we take uh, we, we enjoy we benefit from fabulous waterside environment um, uh, you should obviously be a member of the Anglican Trust or any conservation body that's uh, uh, seeking to protect the environment upon which our sport depends um, and encourage more young people to go into uh, to, to take up angling I, I run a, a club for kids uh, in the summer with some local angles in the Reading area I mean if everybody did something similar um, we wouldn't be seeing angling numbers decline. I suppose the, the best piece of fishing advice is first find your fish, because you can't fish for fish that aren't there. Uh, and I think too many people spend their time chasing ghosts, fish that used to inhabit waters and uh, for which waters became famous, but uh, those fish are, are long gone. Mm -hmm.